Hello and welcome to the first edition of Cram's Corner Fantasy Football Edition. I'm Cram, the Commissioner of the Arena Football League. I would like to thank all teams for a very competitive week one and we look forward to the season ahead. Some of the highlights include the Decepticons pulling out a narrow victory of one point over the Colt 45s in a comeback on Monday night. Also, congratulations to the not applicables for the most dominant performance of the week, scoring 122 points over the Empire. No word yet on how the devastating loss will affect the Empire's front office. Word on the street, however, is that Sonny Shaw is very unhappy with general manager Finch Shirley and will be looking to make moves shortly if team's performance does not improve. The game of the week, however, had to be FC Cramalona versus the Mr. Johnsons. FC Cramalona came back from 32 points down on Monday night to win by three. Behind a stellar performance by the Baltimore Ravens defense and kicker Nate Keating, FC Cramalona put on a balanced attack and pulled out the victory. The rest of the league should consider themselves on notice as this team seems to be firing on all cylinders early in the season. Some of you have added questions regarding the bidding system for free agent players that we're now using this year. I'd like to address some of those concerns and explain the system the best that I can. Each team, as you may have noticed, has started the year with $100 that they can use to put towards free agent pickups. You can always check your balance on the league homepage and monitor your account status. It has up-to-date financial information of how much money your team has left to spend. Players will go on waivers after they have either been dropped or after their respective game has started for the week. They will remain on waivers for three days and then they will be moved to an unrestricted free agent status. While they're on waivers, you can pick them up or you can place a bid on them in a blind bidding system. The blind bid cannot be seen by other players and vice versa, you cannot see any bid that has been made by other members of the league. At the end of the waiver period, the, the free agent will be awarded to whoever has placed the highest bid. While the player is on f unrestricted free agent status, you can pick them up immediately and not be charged any cram bucks. Keep in mind that the waiver period will be different for each player, especially this year with weekly Thursday night games. For example, if a player starts their week on Thursday night, they will be on the waiver period for three days following the Thursday night game. It will be each team's responsibility to monitor who's on waivers and at what time. When you go to pick up a player, it will clearly state when their waiver period ends. Some matchups to look forward to in the coming week include the Red and Blue Classic pitting brother against brother as In It to Win It Frick takes on the Freshman Slayer in the annual Family Bowl matchup. Another matchup worth watching will be FC Cremolona versus the Burley Gentleman as the league's fattest owner takes on the league's skinniest. It will be interesting to see whether Curtis can keep his mind off food long enough to propel his team to victory over an FC Cremolona side that's playing very well early in the season. That's all for this week, League. I wish you all the very worst of luck, and I hope you all lose. Thank you, and goodbye.